snap, you no know, break. That old soldier man, I give you no break. Not even your eyes, you know, I give you no break. Bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. What we want to do is to get on the street and hit these street-level drug dealers. We want to make sure that when the tourists come here, who happen to be the ones that pay our paychecks, that keep this city flowing with the economy, that they know that when they walk these streets that it's going to be safe. Down here in the Keys, when you go fishing, you're chumming. And you do all, you throw chum out in the water, and that makes the fish come, and then you catch the fish. Well, we do the same thing on these operations. There's a lot of people that are visiting Key West, and they're not accustomed to buying drugs, and they're down there looking for drug dealers, and they're accustomed to seeing drug transactions. So what will happen is Scott Smith will end up looking like a crackhead, and Joe Tripp will end up dressed up like a crackhead, and they are going to be going up to Murphy and Smith, and you will see them making transactions and money ex money exchanging hands. That's called chumming. So when you see them out there chumming, get ready because they're they see one and they're luring in one of the blue marlin. We'll come in, catch them, reel them in. Okay? Good luck. Don't arrest Scott or uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> in the bump. Just hear the rocks. What do you need? 24-7, baby. My store is open. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Rock and roll time, guys. <laughs> Talking Walgreens. <laughs> Let's try it. This is our surveillance vehicle. We have a video and audio uh, receivers set up here. We'll be monitoring the transactions, recording them as they occur, and everything will be on audio and video tonight. Yo, player. What's up, man? All right, talk to me. I don't know, man. What up, what up? Listen, listen, listen. Got $120. Hey, can you work something? We can talk. They spend, too. Yeah. Check them out. All right. Give me three 20s, man. We're done. All right, three 20s and we're down. Oh, man, I got to oh, yeah. pull out of the bag. All it's right. It's chilly before Look at it. the police have got down the street. Yeah, peace, peace out, dog. Yeah. Peace out. Please! Please! It's on the ground right there. Give me hands behind, behind your back. Give me hand. Don't move, baby. Got him? Got him. How much? Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Two fingers. $20 worth of food stamps. Two rocks? Three. Okay, three. Great deal. Sounds like a honey, man. Okay. Relax. Let me get an envelope. Stand up, please. Stand up, please. Okay. No problem. Stand up. Come on, let's go. Quickly. Run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Appreciate the cooperation, sir. Just sit right over here. Thank you. Astro, we're ready. What you need, baby? Gotcha. And that cute. Oh, that's it. That's it. I'll give you one for good measure. That's the cutest thing I ever seen. See that? All right. Peace that's out. any perks, huh? Oh, peace out, girl. Peace <laughs> out. Peace <laughs> out. Please stop right there. Stop right there. Right, she's going down. Don't feed me back. Relax. Step it up, step it up, step it up. Come on, let's go on up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on over here, sit in. Come on, come on over here. We got another one coming. Let's go. How much you need? Fifty. Fifty. Right there. All right. Peace out, dog. Peace out. Peace out. Do it, please. Uh uh, he's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Don't move. Get down. Get in his mouth. Put it behind your back. Spit it out. Or you get charged with tampering. You understand? Spit it now or it's an extra shot. Somebody give me flex. You gonna spit it? I'm swallowing. I'm charging my own. Try it. Right. Ain't important. Don't swallow it up. It was on that big dude. Come on, let's go. 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 Come
That's a sale. Well, I know, but what was the deal? Fifteen dollars. I gave one? him two. Two he for fifteen? Me. Yeah. Okay. Somebody already. He gave me a twenty, but he gave me fifteen. Or it's supposed to be fifty. I want you to have a seat right over here. Get right over there in the dark, all the way at the corner, and sit down. Watch your head. Have a seat. And down that way. I guess he back okay. I'll go back to the other car. How many arrests we got? 11, 12. That one right there. But two. What up, B? It's Nick. Morning. All right. Let's do this. Yo, players, what's up? What's up? Right here. Right. No, 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 Relax. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back, Hands behind your back. 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 Hands behind Get right over there in the dark, all the way at the corner, and sit down. Watch your head. Have a seat. We knocked down 19 arrests in a period of three hours, and we can't process them much faster now. So that was a good job, and I appreciate the work. Good job. Glad everybody was safe. Nobody got injured. That's the way to do it, baby. Right. Successful. Thanks. Appreciate it. Go. Appreciate it. All right. You the man. <laughs> uh, the area I work here is, is known as Little Havana. It's basically a, a melting pot of all the... Um, Central American countries where all the different people uh, come and, and live here. They're all recent immigrants. Almost all of them speak no English and they all speak Spanish. Um, it's basically an officer safety issue that most officers should speak Spanish. That's gonna be the we got a call reference um, a male who's possibly drunk and he's breaking down the complainant's door trying to get in. Uh, I don't know if he's related to her, I don't know if he's her husband, but uh, until further notice, uh, we gotta assume that he's not. Should be in the middle of the block right here. Where all these people are standing? Pointing right here. 7324 arrival. What happened? Okay, are you, do you have HIV? Eh? Do you have HIV? Tienen AIDS? See that? No, no. 52 Northwest 1. Reference a male bleeding from the head. It's a pretty picture. Who's your friend? They're uh, lovers. Uh -huh. Basically, these two men are uh, lovers. And, uh, explica la oficial ahí lo que pasó. Okay, bueno. ¿Tú eres el papá de él? ¿Este es tu papá? Ok, bueno. Siéntate ahí, jefe. Ok. Y él me dio a mí con un cuchillo por acá. ¿Quién? No, le di con eso. Oye, cálmate. Oye, siéntate. 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 Acá viene. ¿Tú le diste a él? ¿Tú le diste a él? Se metió que ya dando. Ok. ¿Y la puerta está rota? Con la puerta. Con la puerta atrás. ¿Y por qué tú entraste aquí? No, porque yo le pedí a él. Bajaron con él. Y me dijo que no me lo quería dar. The old man defending his son ended up attacking him with a knife after his son, after his ex lover came in and cracked his head open. Entró por aquí. Pero él entró forzado, ¿verdad? Okay, he's got a burglar here basically forced himself in. Oh, yeah. 
There's blood everywhere. The, the skinny defendant, the one who's uh, being handcuffed over there arrested, he's the ex-homosexual lover of the, the the man who's got who's got the cut to his head. Basically, he's been threatening his life. Uh, he's been threatening his life for a while. Ever since they've been separated, he's been wanting to come back. He was breaking in through the back door and busting into the back door. Finally, uh, he broke in, and they ended up having a scuffle in the back on the balcony. There's blood on the ground. There's ch there's chains or everything where they had a scuffle, and he ended up um, breaking and lacerating the head of the of the victim over there with the glasses. Okay. Then the old man. His father took out a knife and stabbed the victim. If you notice, the, the, I mean, the defendant. If you notice, the defendant has a big old stab wound right through the hand. Okay. That's uh, from the old man right. who, who stabbed him. We have the weapon. As far as the knife, I'm sure we can find it upstairs. Okay. I'm sure we can find it upstairs. I, like I said, IDs and round. Okay. Appreciate it. Paul. Take care. The key to being a good cop um, is basically just um, being fair being honest and um, basically just, just remember that we're all we're human beings just like the people out here and just because we have a badge on or a gun does not make us any better than them we got a car in the middle of the street with the headlights off that could be something Step out of the car. Just the driver. Put the car in park. Just the driver. Come here. Put your hands on the car. Seven three two four. Where's the gun? Who's got a gun? Nobody's got a gun in here? I'm gonna search. Whose car is this? You start a car without keys? Come here. Come here. Seven three two four. Come here. Have a seat. Right there, on the, right there next to the tire. Right there next to the tire. Seat, not squat. QSL, while you're at it, can you carry you Tango X-ray Foxtrot? This call was about shots fired. This car, the tag comes back to a Lincoln. This is a brown Chevy four-door. The ignition key's popped. The ignition is popped, as you can tell. It's running without a key on the other side. And we've got five gang members here who don't belong in this area. 99% chance we have a stolen car here. As we pulled up on it, they were driving with their headlights off. Tony, I got a gun in the front seat, and I got three others back here. I'm going to take them out and put them back here. Keep your hands above your head. Keep your hands above your head. Above your head. Have a seat right there. They have a mask? Yeah, this What we have here is a stolen car. A bunch of gang member juveniles inside it. They're not locals from this area. Uh, we pulled up on them with the headlights off. Upon pulling up closer to the vehicle, we noticed uh, the ignition had been popped and the car was running without a, with a broken ignition, uh, pliers on the ground. Also, uh, a loaded gun, which we have right there, was uh, under the driver's seat. The left rear... Uh, the opera window was broken out, which is usually a very good clue that the car has been stolen. Um, a little sur closer searching revealed a ski mask. Again, these are not gang members associated with this area, so chances are uh, they were probably around here to get back at one of their uh, rival gangs.
Uh, I've been here with the uh, sheriff's office now 10 years. People that you went to school with, uh, you see out on the streets and you're uh, taking them to jail and kind of like have to draw the line there and uh, say, look, you know, I'm out here doing my job and uh, unfortunately you broke the law, so now uh, I have to do my job. Ramp, uh, Boulevard, 995. All right, we're on our way to a possible shooting call. Uh, we just got transferred from Lake Worth PD of a possible uh, shooting over here around the Lake Osborne Estate area. Okay, we still haven't received any information yet about uh, other than the subject uh, is laying outside of the residence uh, where this incident occurred. And then left in a Toyota pickup truck, gray in color. Words tales from the clip should be written across the windshield. They live on Potomac Avenue. Okay, gun in the left hand. He's got a gun in the left hand. You got EMS coming, Paul? That's the four. They're going to stage, though. Have him go ahead and come on in. Hold 33 till. They're holding traffic 2025. Huh? No pulse. You want me to uh, just move the gun away from his hand or leave it like it is? Tina, you want me to go ahead and move the gun away from his hand? Jay, you want to start getting people's names? Uh, John, you want to start getting people's names? Um, right now, apparently, what we got is apparent suicide. Uh, as you can see, the uh, subject um, had a uh, firearm in his left hand. Uh, once EMS arrives here on scene, uh, they'll, uh, they'll determine um, the death. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do that here, and uh, we'll just stand by and wait for them and assist the uh, unit that's going to be uh, handling the uh, case. Detectives will come on out here and uh, should uh, be no problems clearing up the uh, case as a suicide right now. We're going to start gathering names from uh, people that were in the area. Uh, see if anybody saw anything or uh, when they heard the gunshot. We'll also. Um, interview anybody that may know this subject that's, uh, or the person that's laying here. They know uh, if he's from the local area here or not. I moved the handgun out of his hand so they, you know, that when they get down here, do their protocol and... Uh, huh? Before we remove the... Just talking to do a supplement that we remove the handgun out of his hand for our safety. and. Yeah, he got uh, ants on his neck. You see any uh, where the entrance wound is? Maybe on the left side of the head, maybe? Just watch the firearm here by the arm. Paramedics uh, just checked him out and they confirmed his death. Uh, now all we do now is wait for the detective bureau and the crime scene to come out and uh, they'll secure the scene and uh, removal service will come out and take uh, possession of the uh, deceased. Thanks, guys. Appears to be a suicide. Like I said, uh, we found a firearm in his left hand. Uh, there was an entry wound on the left side of his temple. Um, which uh, right now all we can tell is that the uh, deceased uh, uh, did shoot himself in the head. My first concern when I pull up there and I see the guy laying on the bank with a gun in his hand is my personal safety. You know, he's laying there. You don't know if he's dead. You don't know if he's been if he's sleeping. You don't know if he's drunk. Um, 
anything could happen. This guy, uh, you know, could be spooked by us pulling up there, and the next thing you know, he's turning the gun on somebody else. So uh, you have to uh, be prepared to uh, take whatever actions you have to so uh, you don't uh, hurt yourself in a situation like that.